Hello Leo and welcome to your reading for the lovers, the soulmates and the twin flames. Leo, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards to give you the messages that are here for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign and since this is a love reading, also have a look at your Venus sign. Leo, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day for you. So what is going on? Well, you have perhaps one of the best readings so far, Leo. You are opening up this reading with the Two of Coins. Now the Two of Coins is a card that speaks about juggling. It's about juggling your love life and your work life, your home life, and perhaps what you love to do, your leisure time, is about really looking at your life and seeing where you can bring in this harmony, this aspect of balance, of love for yourself and also for the other people or the other person that is in your life, for your family. Leo, this card is really intensively looking at, it's looking at the lover's card, one of my favorite card, if not the favorite card when I'm doing a love reading. So Leo, you are really focusing, we can see how our, our guy on the bike is really focusing on your love life, on the lovers and seeking to bring in this energy of harmony, of balance. And I love this feeling because being focused really opens up your partner and you to really bring out the best of both of you. When you're focused on your goals, when you're focused on your life, when you're focused on what it is that you love, this is a beautiful thing. Because you are seeing mm, that aspect of our love life. Maybe if we did this, that's going to really bring in more passion. That's going to really allow us to have more time together. So perhaps if you live from a distance from each other, you're starting to look at your relationship and see how you can be closer together, how you can draw each other so that you can have more time to hold, to love each other. The lover's card, like I said, being a beautiful card in a love reading, speaks about attraction, speaks about the bond that you have, is the unity. This speaks about the magnetism that is in this relationship and this is a beautiful thing because we can see our lovers that are caught up in this wind well of love, of passion, so Leo, really enjoy this time that you have. And it's a good thing that you're focusing on this card because we're seeing that your focus on your love life is going to pay off because the next card that we have is the Empress card. And I loved seeing that the Empress card was also focusing on the Lovers card. So the Empress card, let's talk about this card first. Because again, this is a major arcana card and so is the lover's card. So this card has important messages for this love reading that is here. So what is the Empress card all about? Well, the Empress card could indicate that you are getting a positive pregnancy test. Maybe you're already pregnant and you're expecting this new bundle of joy to be delivered to you soon. And not only that. The Empress card speaks about abundance and plenty. It's really focusing on, on your love life. As we can see that our Empress is really focused on, on this card here to bring in more joy, more love, more of everything that makes this relationship so beautiful, that makes this relationship feel like it's that soulmate type of energy. Our Empress is looking at this card to bring in more healing, more wealth. And like I said, it's that nurturing card of the mother. So as you're looking at your relationship, you're seeing 
how you can really nurture this relationship, how you can grow this relationship, how you can make this relationship just be the best, the relationship that you dreamt of for a long time. And so you're focused on this relationship and you are seeing just how beautiful it is. Maybe you are going on a vacation. Maybe you're going to the zoo. Maybe you're just spending some time outdoors. But we're seeing here that our Empress, she is there making a wish. We can see you blowing and making a wish that this relationship grows more and more in love. That the two of you grow in your own separate person. Because we never want to forget who we are as as separate beings, but at the same time, you're growing and merging together in love, in harmony, in unity, so that both of you can really enjoy your time together and still enjoy your time as separate beings. Because the lover's card is the card that is balanced. When we're in love, we don't want to be suffocated. We don't want the other person to be so in love with us that we just feel like we can't breathe. But the perfect balance sees you as your own individual and sees your partner as their own individual and two of you being magnetized together to create a whole. A whole that brings in the love. If I can make the love heart there. That can grow over time and can really be feeling like, wow, we are glad that we met. We are glad that we are together because we're seeing that our first oracle card is the card that's speaking about a fork in the road. And this card is saying that here is the same type of energy as the two of coins. You are there at a crossroad thinking to yourself, shall I go in this direction? Shall I go in this direction? Which one is the best path that can bring unity and harmony into my relationship, that can bring in this balance? So you could be there. Maybe you are being offered a job that's asking you to work far away from home. And so you are standing there and thinking, shall I go this way? Shall I go this way? What is the best for my relationship? What is the best that can see our relationship thriving, growing, but also sees me as a person thriving and growing. So there's that energy there of making decisions, having choices in your life. And we're seeing that with the next card, being that you are making choices right now, we have the purity card. And with this card is saying, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answers to your question. And so as you're standing here, being the two of coins, as you're standing here at those crossroads, you're asking your mind, your heart, your soul to really seek out what is your purest intention as you go forward in this relationship. And the next card that we have is saying that there's no place like home. And like I said, Leo, you have the best lover's card, the best reading so far. And this relationship certainly feels like there's no place like home. There's no place that feels so good than being in the arms of your lover, being in the arms of the person that you cherish and adore. And equally, they are cherishing and adoring you. So this card is the card that Let's get the book to see what this card is all about. <clears throat> no place like home. So it speaks about authenticity. So you're being really authentic to yourself as a being and authentic to this relationship for two of you coming together and creating this love. So this card is about authenticity. It's about coming home to yourself. It's about feeling home. So you're feeling at home in this relationship and also in your heart and your soul. It's about arriving at a place where you just fit in. So this relationship just feels good. And it's about also about being comfortable in your own skin. So with this card, it's reminding you to remain comfortable as your own person, comfortable in your own skin, being authentic 
to who you are, but at the same time, wanting to bring those energies into this relationship to create this beautiful, joyous union that you have going on. So the last card that we have is the Fire Guardian. And the Fire Guardian is saying, Leo, ignite your passion. I'm going to leave that to your imagination. Don't let the neighbors be calling the police on you too because you are swinging from chandeliers. But all I can say to you is there's certainly good energies in this relationship. Really cultivate this relationship so that it grows and grows because this is certainly an amazing relationship that you've got on your hands. So Leo, enjoy every moment because you have really created something special here. I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Don't also forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and your family. And Leo, I'm going to let you go and ignite that passion. On that note, Leo, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next reading. It's a goodbye from me. Bye.